Okay, so let's talk about the Void Titan. A lot of you that watched my video yesterday said yes, do a revamp of the Void Titan, so here we are. Our melee ability can hit close to a million damage in normal content, and there's not some crazy buff stacking or anything that you need to be doing, it's very simple. There's two main things that add to our overall damage, and that's enough alone to one-shot any champion in any difficulty. And then we can further enhance that if we want. But at its base, it is very powerful. In some of the gameplay that you're watching, this is all in the 1840 Nightfall or the 1840 Solo Lost Sectors. And I LFG'd for this Nightfall. Shout out to the two guys who did this with me. They were super nice. And I had a hunter on my team who was tethering. And it was really cool a couple of the times because when he would tether a group of enemies, even two unstoppable champions at the same time, I would just shoulder charge into one of the champions. And since the damage is shared between the tether, it would take out both champions in a single go. Or like when I was solo in the opening area with the two barrier champions, I could just shoulder charge one after the other because I would suppress them. I would get a full overshield because I killed them and I would still have my shoulder charge available. So a ton of different things we can do with this build and it's really fun to play. I think Paragon Greaves are gonna be one of my staples on the Titan on all three light subclasses now. It really is that strong. But before we jump into the build, we have a sponsor on today's video. This video is sponsored by Enlisted. If you guys are looking for a realistic and dynamic multiplayer shooter, then I have got you covered. Enlisted is based around World War II and it has a strong focus on historical authenticity while keeping the gameplay feeling so good to keep you coming back to play more. The large scale combat is one of my favorite aspects of Enlisted, with dozens of soldiers, light vehicles, armored vehicles, and aviation, Enlisted uniquely couples PvP and PvE like no other game. Also, don't even get me started on how good and realistic the graphics look. When you add amazing graphics and large scale on as many different scenarios as Enlisted does, like the Battle of Normandy or the recently added Pacific Campaign, you truly have something to immerse yourself into. Enlisted is available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation with cross-platform support, and the best part is Enlisted is completely free to play. Just click my link down below at the top of the description or in the pinned comment where you will get a free bonus by using my link and I hope to see you all enjoy Enlisted as much as I have. Okay so everything with this build starts with an overshield. For our first aspect we have offensive bulwark. Basically what this does for us is when we have an overshield it increases our melee range and damage and melee final blows extend the duration of your overshield. So we need to have this overshield to hit for some crazy damage. It's kind of like on the solar tie-in you would need roaring flames times three to hit that extra damage. Well, for the Void Titan, we need this overshield. So everything that we do with our mod section is about getting our barricade back so we can make sure we always have that overshield. And with a ton of the mod changes and the ability nerfs that Bungie hit us with, which yes, they are pretty bad, because when I was testing Bomber and a few other things, it was terrible. Basically, in any ability build that you're doing now, you want to get to four armor charges and then use whatever ability is that you're feeding those armor charges into. So for us, that would be utility kickstart on our class item. And at least we can get around 40% of our class ability back instantly when we use our class ability. So we need to build into that to make sure we always have that overshield available. You wanna be using shield bash on the void titan as well. That's gonna be your melee. And again, we just wanna make sure we have that overshield up. And we do that with offensive bulwark and we do it with bastion so that barricade can create that overshield for us. For your exotic, again, it's just Paragon Greaves. These got the awesome bonus damage that was added this season. And then you also get your melee fully refunded when you hit any mini bosses, champions, or tormentors. And that's how we have infinite melee without having to use Monte Carlo or something like that. When you open up a room and lead into a fight, you want to throw your Vortex Grenade. This is going to apply the Weakening Debuff from Echo of Undermining as our first fragment. And the reason we're doing that is because next is Echo of Harvest. Defeating weakened targets creates an Orb of Power and a Void Breach. Both that Orb of Power and Void Breach is going to activate Devour for us with Echo of Starvation. Picking up a Void Breach or an Orb of Power grants Devour. And then we're going to extend our Devour and our Overshield with Echo of Persistence. Void buffs applied to you have increased duration. So basically how this build works is you're going to lead with that grenade grab that orb of power, activate devour, pop your barricade so you have the overshield, and head into whatever you're going to shoulder charge. But make sure there's not a ton of enemies around whatever you're going for or that you have good pathing already, because if you don't have that overshield up, you won't one shot. Now I was 26 power level under, and if I did not have that overshield, it would leave them finishable. So you could still finish the champion right after that, but again, if you want the true one shot, then you need to have the overshield up. For your mods on the helmet, it's just harmonic siphons and then hands on to get bonus super energy when we kill something with that melee. On the gauntlets, you're gonna take bolstering detonation and focusing strike. This grants class ability and grenade energy when we deal damage with our melee ability. Next, we're gonna take heavy handed. So our powered melee final blows create an orb of power. Just in case you didn't have devour proc'd, when you do melee into a champion, It'll spawn an orb of power, you'll grab that and proc devour. 
on your chest piece. That's your resistance for whatever activity you're doing. Then you're also gonna use charged up so we can have four armor charges total. On our boots, we're gonna take absolution and innervation. So we get double the energy for class ability when we pick up an orb of power. And then we're also gonna take stacks on stacks. This just allows us to get two armor charges for every orb we pick up. That way we only need two orbs to get four total stacks of armor charge. On the class item, that is our utility kickstart, so we can get that barricade and overshield back as quick as possible. And then we're also gonna take Reaper. So when we do use that barricade and get a weapon final blow within 10 seconds, we spawn another orb of power. For your stats on the build, 100 resilience, and then push your discipline up. And that's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Falcon 2.0 and maybe learned a few things from the gameplay that you watched and have fun doing that shield bash into everything that you possibly can. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, check out Enlisted today through my link down below and get yourself a free bonus pack to immerse yourself in World War II. Thank mm -hmm. you.